Hi, beloveds, and welcome to another Tales, Tarot, and Travel with me, your host, Tanya Gonzalez. One of the biggest experiences that I ever had was really one of my lowest points in my life. During the course of about five to six years, I lived with two suitcases, and in the process of living with those two suitcases, I was bouncing from place to place in Europe, bouncing from couches and couch surfing here, and I had no home. So I was in, I was basically homeless. And it was through that homelessness and through that experience of poverty and suffering and sabotage that I was able to come through on the other side and experience love for myself like I had never imagined. So I'm gonna start with when I was living in Marbella, Spain. I had been working at several bars and knew I was at a point in my life where working at a bar was the opposite of what I needed. I was heavily drinking every day and something told me I needed to get out of Spain. But at the same time, I knew I needed to make money. And so I left one bar thinking I would go to another bar and make more money there. And what I discovered was I quickly got fired because the one bar owner told me I asked too many questions and I said, you know what, what am I doing here? Why am I creating this suffering for myself? And so in that, people started giving me jobs, odd jobs, and some of them I took and some of them I didn't because I was trying to make money to get home. But some people wanted me to stay and, and stay in Spain, but I was really trying to get focused on going home, and so I didn't want to take another job where I would have to be trained and da 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 so I was really trying to make my way home. And one of the people who offered me some work was the lady I was renting a room from. She wanted me to babysit and nanny for her daughter when she came to visit. And at this time in my life, you know, I, this was just about five or six years ago, and I knew that's not something I wanted to do. And so I asked, I said no. And I knew that that would, you know, really get her upset. And she then, it was at the point where my month was up, and so she asked me to move, and I had nowhere to go. And a friend of mine was going through a transition as well, and she had another room, and so she allowed me to stay with her and sleep on the couch. But the thing that I'm telling you about was the moment that I had been living with this woman for maybe seven or eight months. We had been great friends, and I used to even call her Saint Tina because she was always so helpful, so helpful and loving towards so many people. But when I said no to her, her whole energy changed. And I, even though I had been drinking, I still had my Course in Miracles. I was still following my spiritual practice. And I knew her anger was displaced because she thought, oh, I needed the money. Why wasn't I taking the money? And I thought, I'm going to be strapped with a baby for 10 days. Is that what I want to do? Absolutely not. Somebody else's baby and, you know, working for somebody else. And I said, no, that's not what I want to do. And that really upset her. And I had to go through that. And when I was walking out the door and she had been so rude to me and just really mean because I said no to her, I turned around after I had my last bag of clothes and I said, I forgive you. And the look in her eye was of pure hatred or fear or whatever. And I was so surprised because she was so surprised that I said it. And I was even surprised that I said it, but it came out of my mouth. And she turned a fury to me that I had to walk away. And I said, wow, I said I forgive you. And you turned that into such poison. This church-going little Filipino lady turned into a monster right before my eyes. And that was the last time I saw her. And so you heard me shuffling my tarot. Today I'm sharing a tarot vision with you from the Cosmic deck, one of my favorite decks. And so I'm just going to give it one more shuffle and share with you the lesson of this travel and this tale. And let's see how the tarot is gonna bring it. So the tarot brings it to the seven of pentacles. And isn't that amazing that the tarot brought it to seven of pentacles? Because seven, we know, is a highly spiritual number. And this is really representing, you know, I was really, dark, I was in a dark place. I was really desperate and I, I was about, you know, homeless. And I thought, how am I gonna get out of here? I have no money sleeping on my friend's couch and so it was through faith and through spirit that allowed me to even say I forgive you and in that moment I knew something in me changed and I had decided I said whenever I get home 
and month from the time that I get home, I'm stopping drinking. I quit on August 22nd, a month from my birthday, four years ago. And so it is through forgiveness that I was able to heal myself. And it was through that message of forgiveness that I was able to extend that. Even though I didn't really believe it, I still extended it. And it really set me free in a way. And it allowed me to release myself from that pain of alcohol. So I am I'm just grateful that I was able to see past the anger and the fear and turn it into something really amazing. And so I share this tarot tale with you to remind you that anything is possible and it is only us who deprive ourselves of anything. And until next time, beloveds, keep traveling, keep tarot, taroting, and keep tuning in with tarot. Until next time, namaste.